Hello everyone. I am Harris, it's great connecting with you guys. Don't forget to wear your mask and keep your social distancing. I hope all of you stay safe during this pandemic. Do you ever wonder, does money grow on trees? Plant tissue culture, or also known as PTC. Have you guys ever heard about PTC? Do you have any idea regarding this? What is PTC? What is it actually? Is it really true, that money can grow on trees? All of this is so confusing right? It's okay. Let's find out about it throughout this video. Plant tissue culture, is a process to grow a new plant, in some condition. This process will use, a small piece of plant parts. And grow them, in a specific growing medium. Which responsible to grow new plantlets. This process, is also known as micropropagation. Where, the tissue culture process, will help, to grow multiple uniform plants, in quick succession. Do you know, that PTC, is like a kind of magic, where, it can grow plants, like this, from a small piece of plant parts. Let's see, how the magic is done. First, you will need, to identify, what type of plant, that you want to culture. Then, you will need to, acquire the usable plant part. This is to be used in the process. Next, you will need to, culture on a media plate. This process, requires a sterile condition, to avoid contamination. After a few weeks, plantlets will grow on the plate. By then, you can proceed, to transfer on the soil. PTC is a rapid planting process, where we produce, plants from the plant. We can use seed, or other plant parts to harvest plant tissue for PTC. But still, without the proper sterile environment, and growing medium, the tissue culture process, is unlikely to be successful. Basically, the proper and sterile condition means the process was carried out in the laboratory. Before start the PTC process, we need to wear a mask, and a pair of gloves. And to carry out the PTC process, we need to make sure that all the apparatus are well prepared. Basic apparatus such as, scalpel, forcep, and alcohol. All the procedures, need to be done in the laminar flow hood to prevent any contamination to occur. Once the new plants have been successfully propagated, they are transferred into a more natural environment, either a nursery or a greenhouse. This process is usually much quicker. And growers can produce many plants in a short amount of time. This may sound too good to be true. So what's the catch? Let's take a look. What are the abilities of the plant to grow in this process? There are three, fundamental abilities of plants. The first one, is what we called as totipotency. Totipotency, is the ability of a single cell, to divide and produce all of the differentiated cells, in an organism. In other words, totipotency, is the genetic potential of a plant cell, to produce the entire plant. The second one, is known as dedifferentiation. De differentiation is the capability of mature cell to return to meristematic condition. It is also followed by redifferentiation, which is the ability to reorganize into a new organ or plant. Lastly, it is known as competency. Competency is the endogenous potential of a given cell or tissue to develop in a particular way. In the other word, they have the ability to do something successfully or efficiently. How can the plant tissue culture occur? How come it can grow? Are there any factors that affect their growth? There are a few factors that will affect the growth of PTC. Because of these factors, the PTC process can be successfully done. Let's find out together, what the factors are. The first factor that affects PTC is growth media. Growth media are used to grow the plants on it. Medium composition can be designed to obtain different types of plant growth that we want such as growth of callus, shoots, or roots. The composition, inside growth media are essential elements, like mineral source, salt, macronutrient and micronutrient, plant hormones, such as auxin and cytokinin, then, organic supplement, like vitamins or amino acid, and carbon sources, usually supplied as sugar source. Next is environmental factors such as light, temperature, humidity, and oxygen. It is important to have the environmental factor in the PTC process. 
This is because these factors are crucial for various physical process such as respiration. Lastly, it is also important to know the source of explant. This is because a younger explant is better for tissue culture because younger plants are easier to be trained for differentiation later as they are not fully differentiated yet. It is also less prone to diseases than older plants. There are many parts that can be used and some examples are stem, root tip, and leaf. The success of the PTC proses is due to their specific factors to grow. In order to make the process successful, it is crucial to know and understand the factor that will affect the growth of PTC. Now, let's take a look what does that mean by money does grow on trees? And what are their relationship with the PTC process? Can the PTC process help us generate better economic gains? Nowadays, PTC process have been introduced through plant biotechnology, and it has been known worldwide. Because of that, countries that are rich, with diverse flora's resources, have a genuine opportunity to develop efficient plant tissue culture through a competitive plant biotechnology sectors. Through this sector, better economical gain can be generated as the agricultural industry sector grows rapidly. By that, there will be more job opportunities. This process also will give beneficial to the private growers looking to increase crop yield. Who is interested in producing consistent quality? As well as businesses looking to produce exact replicas of a species for economical gain. Do you know, that PTC has a lot of benefits? Let's see, what are the benefits of PTC? Usually, traditionally grown plants are prone to viruses and diseases. But with PTC, the plants have chances to be free from viruses or diseases. This is because, we culture the plant in the laboratory, with controlled conditions such as humidity, temperature and cleanliness. In order to grow plants traditionally, we will require the seeds. But now, with PTC, we can use various other parts of the plant. As you know, in Malaysia we have various seasonal fruits. One of them is durian. Thanks to PTC, we can enjoy seasonal fruits, throughout the year. Not to worry, PTC can be done anytime, without depending on the season. All you need is the plant tissue. Another advantage of PTC is, a large number of plants, can be produced within a short amount of time. Therefore, by using PTC, the issue of high demand can be solved. The great news about PTC are exact copies of plants, will be produced with the same quality. This is due to the same genetic profile, they have from the plant tissue used in PTC. All things have their drawbacks, same goes to PTC. Let's look at the PTC disadvantages. The PTC might need more work than the traditional ways, as it involves certain specific steps. Also, this PTC will cost an amount of money on the materials and equipments. All plants from the PTC process have the same genes, that means, if one plant is vulnerable to a type of disease, the other plants with the same batch will have the tendency to get infected too. As you can see, the advantages do seem to outweigh the disadvantages. Sure, you may have to spend a bit more money to get your tissue culture going. But the rewards certainly outweigh the initial cost. Throughout this video, indeed, money does grow on trees. Where PTC can be used for economic development. It also helps us to build a better agricultural sector with the new technology. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.